They say they want me to do it, so I'm gonna pay them my new thing. You wanted me to play more piano. Um, I'm making all this up. I've actually loved playing piano. I just haven't done it in years. It's been something that's been really awesome. So I've been just like ad-libbing, making up my own pieces. So if you guys want me to, I've literally gotten DMs of you guys saying like, hey, start your video off with piano more often, which I think is weird because I may I don't know, maybe it's not weird, but just in time. Alright. Can I get you guys to move uh, towards the end so I can pull uh, yeah. my cars out? Thank you, thank you. the cars out front. <laughs> neighbors probably, the neighbors need to see the cars. So these guys, um, I'm not gonna, I didn't wanna bother them. These guys are putting in a uh, new garage door and I'll explain a little bit here in a bit. I'm gonna let them do their work and then uh, touch base after that. Oh my God. Oh shoot. So they are finished and we have some pretty awesome and exciting. Let me show you guys exactly what we did. I'll go ahead and close this. That's cool. Oh, too bad it's white and it doesn't match that side. So we will have to, uh, we will have to repaint this and uh, we'll do that eventually. It'll look a little bunk for a little while, but you know, homeowner things. So as you guys know by now, we are getting a lift. Bench pack is coming out here and uh, we're doing a lift. So I told you guys about this last week. This looks cool. I behind that door for sure but let me show you guys so we got a this is a whole new door unfortunately we couldn't use our old one so that was kind of a big cost for us but we got this this thing is sweet so usually you'll have a traditional garage door opener like this which is like it kind of just sits right in the middle and it pulls and it yanks this guy happens to be a side mount, a wall mounted one. And I still have a few things to do here and there and I definitely need to patch up all this and make that look a little prettier now. But this is a really, really cool setup that I can't wait to show you guys. So here we go. I got one opener for this uh, Lexus and I got one opener for the car that's gonna be under it or over it, whatever car. So here we go, show you guys. Oh, it's so quiet, listen. <gasps> It's so, it's so quiet. But, oh, look how freaking high this goes. What? What? So we're gonna have no, you're telling me I got no door, you tell me I got no door interference with this so I can have a freaking lift here? I'm not gonna my garage door? Oh, man. Man. <laughs> So that is, the, that is a major, very cool step and upgrade for the garage. Might not seem like that huge of a deal, but it really is. The nose of the car is gonna be like basically right under this. It's gonna basically go almost all the way to the roof. And so this is making all that room that we needed. We even got new buttons and stuff like that. We haven't even programmed these yet. But we, you know, we just moved in, so I don't know why we have two. It's kind of weird, but. What's also tight about this stuff is this is actually Wi-Fi. So I can not only have it on my phone, but if the garage opens and closes, it tells me about it first, which is nice. Cause there's some weirdos out there that might want to try and open this garage. And guess what, boys? You're not gonna freaking do it. I now have a lot of security and uh, we're gonna get more and more and more security as time goes on, but. Very dope. I really wanted to do this side of the garage, but this right here was $1,300, just this side. Literally just to do exactly what I needed to do before the lift, to prep for the lift, 1,300 right there. So in order to do this side, it was gonna be like another 2,000, and I'm not trying to spend over like three grand. The next biggest steps 
Or uh, I, I need an electrician to come out here. I'm still trying to look for some. I actually am having a little bit of trouble finding them. But I need an electrician to come out and give me some 220 volt plugs. And then I also need somebody to come out here and put another wall plug right there. And then a wall plug over there. Just in case we uh, end up doing this garage eventually. Because it's very possible that I might end up doing a lift right here. But right here where we stand, this side of the garage is definitely going to be the uh, workshop side. So we're getting this outfitted first. Aside from the garage today, I'm going to be doing a couple other things. I need a an actual workbench, right? This has been my so-called workbench for the past, uh, well, how long did I get these? About a little over, under a year ago? Got these a little under a year ago. So these are my storage spaces and stuff like that. And I'll probably eventually get a long toolbox that's short that has a workbench on top of it. But this little mesh right here is what I've been setting things on and things fall through it really easily. Like it's hard to place your stuff here. So what I'm gonna do is take the measurements of this and I need to go to the hardware store and uh, get some wood cut to exactly this spec. So probably get like a half inch, maybe three quarter inch or something like that. But I'm gonna get one for here and one for here. This side especially because you have little items like this that I don't want to fall through. All of my oils and my little tools and stuff like that are going to be sitting here. And the last thing I want is for them to be like sitting sideways and like rocking everywhere. So if they have a nice stable foundation, it'd be really nice to have that. Nothing major to cars today. But, uh, oh, also, uh, these fell, so I gotta get back up there. She got a new hairdo. Open it up, I wanna see. It's oh, cute, God. it's cute. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, my wife is smoking. <laughs> hey, go to the store. Actually, if you want, we have stuff for the P.O. box and I think people send us some housewarming gifts. Oh, some housewarming gifts for the P.O. box? You know what? I haven't opened up stuff yet in a while. Um, let's see that first. Thank you to those of you who sent me stuff from the P.O. Box. What are you doing taking up the whole side of the garage? Okay. Oh, do another flag. We already got another flag, boys. Is this a Nissan or is this a Z? I'm pretty sure this is a Z flag. No, I no. can't tell. Oh, Nissan. That was fast. That was really fast. That was fast. From Troy Brown. Oh, Troy Brown, thank you so much, dude. I think this is not next. another one. It very well could be. I think it actually is. <laughs> is it the same one? It's a different one. Ooh, you have choices now. That's good, that's good. Ooh, this I one mean, We so will have two Nissans now, so oh. two are appropriate. This is a cool one too. I like it. Who is this from? You gotta leave me a note. I don't know who this is from. Comment on the video and um, I'll, I'll thumb you up. <laughs> I'm so intrigued what this is. Is it a mat? I think it's a mat, dude. It says home. Aww. The shanks. That's dope. Hold on, who's this from? Who's this from? Congrats on the house out of Victoria. Hope this cam gets some use. David Rolf. I appreciate you, homie. Actually, we put it right in the garage. Actually, I was That's about perfect. to buy one today, so now I don't have to. Watch this fit just right. Just right. Just right. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. It's it's, it's, it's it's perfect. Look at that fitment. Look at that fitment. It's a little bit of poke, but it's okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I have a PO box for you guys if you want to send us anything, but you don't have to send me anything. Um, actually, no, if you like my videos and you don't send me anything, you're, no, I'm not gonna say that, it's mean. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for sending me stuff. <laughs> Trailer, Trailer Tom. <laughs> Trailer Tom, need Kate, ride him some, some bit. We actually need to look for a lawnmower. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Yeah! Whole oh, brother. Okay, this is pretty thick stuff. So basically, we're gonna have to buy a whole one of these. Actually, this is probably perfect. We 
we, wait, is there, so there's spray on polyurethane? Ow. Dude, these barely fit. Look at that! <laughs> cool. Now all we gotta do is take some poly and uh, spray it. I'm gonna put one right here. And I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna put one right there. Put one right there. Smells yummy. Yeah, that's smells good. It's so satisfying to watch. <laughs> Okay, so I did one coat on this little guy. Don't really care, I just wanted it to kind of match the tone of this one. But the way you have to do this is you have to wait a couple hours, so I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let this set. I'm out of breath because of breathing this in, it's nasty. Um, I'm gonna let this set for a little bit, but that's gonna be sealed. It's gonna be a nice little workbench. It's thick enough to where I'll be able to have pretty heavy stuff kind of stacked up and we'll have stuff wobbling and that's cool. So really cool about that. I might actually go ahead and lower this down to where this level is just to make it not look as weird. Not sure what I'd want to do about that yet. But I'm really soaked. This is awesome. This garage thing is, is really, really, really cool. And man, I'm still just so, so dumbfounded that this is, um, this is our place. This is really awesome. Guys, you have no idea how important you guys are to us and how thankful we are for you. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching our videos day after day. I know this is a really simple video. Very simple update, but uh, I want to keep on continuing to uh, let you guys know. Keep on continuing to let you guys know what's going on in our lives. My advice for you guys <clears throat> today, I give daily advice. I didn't know that, but um, I was going to say something else, but something just came to my mind as I was driving. Never forget where you came from. And you might not be super far right now. You might not think you're super far, but never forget where you came from. It's easy for me to like think that I'm really not as good as I could be or compare myself, you know, to this person or that person. Or, but if I think about it, you know, six years ago, I was working 40 hours a week while in high school and in college to try and, you know, pay for stuff, but also, like, once every two months buy a car part and slowly build my cars. And it's crazy that now I can buy and fully build a car in less than a month if I wanted to. And so comparing yourself to yourself is your is what you should be doing. Never compare yourself to others. Never lose sight of where you began. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all. Bye. I got two videos for you, boys. Two videos for you right in front of you. Um, tell you what, if you click on one of them, I will make another video tomorrow. But I'm just kidding. I'll probably make another one anyways, but you should probably just watch the videos because they're super good.